Hello, my name is Ana Carolina Mazuco, and today I'm going to share with you a little about the Ocean Data Bootcamp, a workshop to support biodiversity monitoring and data management at the long-term marine observatories in Brazil. Most ecosystem services provided by the ocean to humans depend on marine life. Therefore, providing free and widespread access to marine biodiversity data and information is key to overcoming current environmental crisis and reaching a more sustainable and healthy ocean. Brazil lacks training and capacity development in marine biodiversity data management. It is common sense among scientific institutions and funding agencies and was also pointed out as a priority by the Ocean Decade Regional Planning Workshops across the five Brazilian regions. So, the Ocean Data Bootcamp was born with this idea in mind and planned to target the long-term ecological research sites, which are currently the initiatives that generate the most amount of high-quality data and information covering all marine habitats in the Brazilian coast and offshore. In the event, we carried out training activities focused on the use of standardized sampling protocols for biodiversity monitoring, biodiversity data management workflows, and satellite remote sensing applications for biodiversity science and monitoring. The workshop was held at UFIS from July 11th to 14th, promoted with funding by FAPIS and SCORE, gathering 22 participants plus 16 instructors and invited speakers. It was open to participants across all levels of career development, including undergraduate and graduate students, postdocs and early career and senior scientists. These scientists represented nine Brazilian public universities, five marine LTER sites, one group of biodiversity synthesis, one large-scale marine biogeography program, and the National Institute for, Res for Space Research. There were also three international keynote speakers, local professionals from the private sector, and state and federal environmental managers. All coastal regions and marine habitats of Brazil were represented. Besides all hands-on activities and training, we also separated moments for discussion and partnerships. Capacity building requirements and priorities from the group were captured before the event and used to align the agenda items to participants' training needs. At the end of the workshop, everyone was invited to share their overview and plans to implement the tools and best practices within their host programs. This information will be shared publicly within the next months. So all training materials were co-developed by UFIS team and other collaborators, as well as the LTR network, Ocean Biodiversity Information System, and the Marine Biodiversity Ob Observation Network, Poe Po of the Americas, a NASA-funded multidisciplinary initiative coordinating biodiversity and, and ecosystem monitoring across the continent. The training models were presented in Portuguese and English and included lectures and real-time hands-on activities covering five core topics. Field survey protocols for biodiversity monitoring, biodiversity data analysis, visualization and mapping, biodiversity and environmental data management workflows using the Darwin Core Schema, querying and manipulating taxonomic records curated by the OBIS, and merging biodiversity observations with satellite remote sensing data, publicly available in NOAA's ERDAP server and Google Earth Engine. Uh, this workshop was the first event held in Brazil with a focus on marine biodiversity information systems and long-term observatories, contributing to active discussion and technical scientific training on digital systems, also expanding access to data and automation tools for science and conservation of coastal ecosystems and marine life. 
It also promoted the engagement of Brazilian coastal ecologists and oceanographers in the Ambon Pochupo Network, Marine Life 2030 program, as well as other regional networks within Brazil. It was possible to identify knowledge gaps and improvement needs at the local and regional level. The event provided the strengthening of the integration of the participating network and opening for new national and international collaborations with the exchange of professionals and trainings. The meeting was particularly important for collaboration among the marine LTERs, private sector and regulators towards developing tools to support decision making that fit Brazilian reality as well as international problems. We really hope those events are repeated and the content shared and applied to promote national development. I would like to thank the sponsors and especially M. Bon Pochupo and LTR sites to engage in this initiative and maintaining such an amazing collaborative network. On behalf of the organization team and all the participants, I thank everyone watching this presentation today. Please feel free to contact us in case you would like to promote similar activities in your region or simply share experiences. Bye bye. Tchau!